Good evening to you all, and thank you very much for the invitation. I am Uvita Bertini, Tuscan farmer, and a talk on behalf of all farmers who are involved in FertiBio project. FertiBio is a project for developing biofertilizer, and in order to reduce the use of chemical and mineral fertilizers in agriculture, the target is to validate biofertilizer and improve soil fertility, keeping crop productivity and improving yield quality. The experiment is conducting companies located in Tuscany. We have used two prototypes. First, production of biofertilizer testing one field crop. Second, training and information for the partners of the project through company visits and workshops. We took examples for international research studying the fruitful alliance between plants and soil biota. The aim is to ensure reduction of the release of pollutants and rationalization of energy inputs for a symbiotic agriculture. In Tuscany, at the moment, farmers have little knowledge about the biofertilizer and uh, what they can be through their application in field crops cultivation. Moreover, there are few field tests about their application in different crops and different environments. From researchers, we know that biofertilizer effect on plant development and yield can vary from cultivar to cultivars. The tests carried out in the past year were based on biofertilizer produced at lead scale. According to this year, even if the application has shown interesting results, a large scale production could represent relevant limitation. For this and more reason, in 2017, FertiBio born. In a few words, the group aims to develop and validate biofertilizer for a base use and vegetable species. We have now, uh, to achieve this important goal, a partnership between different stakeholders was set up. We have nine partners, one as a coordinator, one as a fertilizer producer and seven farms. Each farm improved two different types of crops from cereals to spontaneous sweets. We work it together with Santana Superior School from Pisa and Italian Farmers Confederation. Biofertilizer consists of a mushroom and bacteria consortium. It processes the bioencapsulation that allows controlled and synchronized release, simultaneously giving protection from abiotic and biotic stress and microbial competition, prepared in non polluting biodegradable capsules. The fertilizer was directly in note plated in the ground or mixed with the seed before sowing. In this slide, we can, we can see that even if during the pandemic crisis, FertiBio has never stopped its work. In several different areas of Tuscany, we have conducted a different field experiments on the following crops, spontaneous wheat, alfalfa, sunflower, barley, wheat, tomato, and chickpeas. In uh, all of the tests carried out, at least two trials were conducted. Inoculated and untreated plants were cultivated side by side and ensure the same quality of the soil and the same microclimate. Different biofertilization treatments were performed based on the type of cultivation and sowing times. We made a follow-up studying root samples in different stadiation of plants' life and monitoring growth. Then, at the moment of the harvest, the product have been looking to differentiate organoleptic characteristics and evaluate percentage of nutrients comparing the production of the treated field with the untreated field. The project is still in place, therefore we have not yet collected and cataloged the final data because analysis of yield and quality of the harvest is still be performing. According to my personal experience in my farm, I can say that I am excited. The task I was exceeded was the cultivation of a multi-year crop, alfalfa, and a legume, chickpea, inoculated by a non-negative mixture of muscular mycorrhizal fungi and bacteria. And I assure you that the flower of treated chickpeas was spectacular. To increase farmer awareness about biofertilizer application, several informative actions will be made during the experiment. Uh, we already made a specific course about innovative agriculture, and uh, it was very successful in terms of feedback from the audience. Two field trips is going to be organized to visit the center of the companies, but due to the pandemic trend, this activity was postponed. 
During the last year, a greenhouse in a farm partner of the project was renewed to host the mass production of biofertilizer. The greenhouse is ready to start production, and in the coming weeks, the production process of prototype scale will start. It will be the first biofertilizer production factory at the Tuscan level. Although it's still a prototype, we are looking forward to starting the activity. And then we can conclude that in Tuscany and in the European community, there is a growing interest in a new model of agriculture. In this context, the symbiotic agriculture, which includes all the techniques aimed at restoring, safeguarding, and using in the agroecosystem, the symbiosis between soil microorganisms and root system of crops, is of strong and growing interest. A fruitful alliance between plants and soil microorganisms is therefore determinant for enhancing quantity and quality of crop production. I can say that uh, this practical theoretical path has increased the knowledge and confidence of farmers who are open to innovative solutions for maintaining planet's ecosystem. The partner FertiBios project, even if in the lack of direct participation for the restriction of COVID-19 on time, gave us positive feedback of their experience. I hope that this will be the future of world agriculture for a cleaner planet and the healthiest heating. Thanks for your attention.